action trumps motivation. Only 100% of the time though. So think of all those times where you've not felt motivated. I know right now a lot of people don't feel very motivated or they feel like their mojo's disappeared because they've been thrown into this mix in terms of everything going on, in terms of the world feeling like it's ground to a halt and they've had many other things to deal with um, before even looking, thinking about their own health and fitness, okay? And yeah, motivation may have gone out the window, all right, for one reason or another, because things shut down, because our freedom was taken away, because um, we're, we're worried about X, Y, Z. There are a lot of reasons why motivation may have left the building. However, what I'm here to discuss and chat about tonight is that action trumps motivation 100% of the time. What I mean by this is if you wait to be motivated, you're in for a bumpy ride because motivation is something that comes along, but it goes just as easily, right? It's a feeling. It's a, you wake up out of the bed, you wake up and get out of bed and one day you feel motivated to get on and do things another day you don't feel it at all. You can hardly motivate yourself to make yourself a cup of tea or brush your teeth. Um, and I get that. It's happened. It's happening right now. A lot of people don't feel that motivation, okay? Where action trumps motivation, and if anything can lead to helping spark that motivation for you, is if you take action. Even though you may not feel motivated. So even at that point where you don't feel motivated, you still have the choice. You still can make the choice to do something even if you don't feel like it. Like, I don't know, going for a run. You might not feel motivated to go for a run because it's too hot, it's too cold, it's the wrong time of the day, you haven't got your kit, whatever the reason is. You're going to potentially not feel motivated 100% of the time, which is definitely going to happen, right? You're not going to feel motivated 100% of the time. However, you are always going to be in control of the decision you make to either do something or not do something. And even when you're not doing something, you're still deciding not to do something. It's not that it's either on or off, it's that you are deciding at that point to either take action or deciding not to take action. So you always have the option to take action, right? So if you take the action, no matter how small a step it is, so say, for example, it's the running, right? Going out for a run. You're not motivated to go for a run. If you take even just a little step and do it as quickly as possible, in terms of, you know, within a couple of seconds of thinking about it, you're going to give yourself much more chance of actually going out for that run. Just because you don't feel motivated doesn't mean that you can't put your kit on. It doesn't mean that you can't still step out the door. It doesn't mean that you can't still start warming up. It doesn't mean that you can't still just run down the street for one minute. All right and it goes on and what you'll find is by doing this more and more by taking action more times than not in terms of regardless of how you're feeling the more times you do that the more you're going to build motivation you're going to build momentum for yourself because you're taking action and you're building this momentum and you're starting to feel the benefits from doing it. So action in this case is always going to trump motivation because motivation isn't something that we really 
have that much control over initially. It's not something that you can just muster up. Whereas action, you have 100% control over normally. You can either take action or you can't at any given second. Right now, I could take action and stand up and do 10 star jumps if I wanted to, okay? But that's not what I'm here to do. You're not here to watch me um, do star jumps. Um, you're here to hear about how I think action trumps motivation 100% of the time. So right now, have a think about one time in your life where you didn't feel like doing that thing related to your health and fitness or not. It could not be. And think back to whether you took action or you didn't take action and how things could have been different if you had take action, taken action, right? So motivation, don't rely on it. Don't wait for it to come because you'll be waiting a long time. And right now I'm on the other side of um, my 30s, shall we say, and I haven't got time. I don't want to tolerate waiting around for things to just happen, for motivation to just come along and smack me in the face. I would much rather take take control, take the bull by the horns, whatever um, idiom you want to say there, and just crack on. So the next time you don't feel motivated, choose to still take action and see what happens. <coughs> Excuse me, live sneeze there. See what happens, okay? And see how your motivation suddenly starts to build because of the fact that you're taking action, not because of the fact that you waited for it to just come along. Um, it's kind of like a nice positive upward spiral. The more action you take, the more, more results that you get, the better you start feeling, and therefore the more motivated you start feeling. Um, if you leave it, however, there's no chance of you building mo up momentum or motivation because you're not taking the initial step, which is the action, okay? So do whatever it takes count to five, make it as easy as possible, move and do something as quickly as you can whilst you're thinking about it, acknowledge that maybe you don't feel motivated, but also acknowledge the fact that you are in control of what you do next, okay, of what you do next, um, because what you do next over the next day, over the next week, over the next month, over the next year, is all going to accumulate to give you this long-term end result of feeling better, feeling fitter, healthier and happier. It's not going to happen overnight. You're not going to be so motivated that you um, change your whole life overnight, but you can be um, in the control seat or in the driver's seat of taking action so that you build it up over a long period of time and therefore lead a fitter, healthier and happier life. Give it a go.